There are only two ways to increase your sprint speed. That's by improving your stride rate or your stride length. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can do both. I'm going to show you some of the drills, some of the types of running that we do that will improve both your stride length and your stride rate. Now, we're gonna start off with some drills. Hip speed is crucial to developing sprint speed. The faster you can recover your heel from the back of your body to the front with the foot passing close to the knee, the more you're likely to improve your maximum velocity. The quicker the foot gets to the front and then strikes the track, the more power you're going to put down and therefore the greater the velocity you're going to achieve. Sprinting is all about changing vertical velocity as developed by the foot strike into horizontal velocity and therefore heel recovery drills are crucial in that respect. On screen now you're seeing some heel recovery drills and also what I call piston drills, up and down movement, thigh pop type drills whereby you're forcing the foot down into the ground very quickly. Now you can do both of those drills unilaterally, i.e. one leg focused on at a time with one, three or five steps in between for example. And you can also alternate the leg by doing two, four or six, therefore an even number of steps in between each one. The fewer the steps in between, the quicker the drill will be performed. It is crucial whichever way you do them in that you focus on creating a full range of movement. Don't shorten the range because you're doing the drill quicker. So with a piston up and down drill, the thigh still needs to hit a parallel to the ground position in front of the body and then strike very quickly downwards. Those types of drills are likely to increase the length of your stride due to their ability to create greater power in the hip region and therefore greater force being pushed down into the track surface. I've obviously got a lot of drills that I use to improve sprint technique and power, stride length and frequency. We're now going to take a look at some of the running type of exercises that we do to do that. So firstly, you're going to take a look at bend running, whereby the athletes build up to maximum speed off of the bend and then hold speed for variously 10 to 30 to 40 meters. We're long jumpers in the main, so the distance off the bend is pretty short. However, for 200 meter running, 100 meter running for example, you can increase the length of the maximum speed part off of the bend. The objective is to really attack off the bend and lift and use the hips to create the momentum. So the heel recovery drills and the piston drills that you've seen earlier come into effect, come into play in doing that. So I'll often combine those drills with these off bend runs in a session. Another type of run that we do to increase stride frequency in this case are sprint float sprint types of efforts here you're seeing the guys hit about a 20 meter section flat out, drop off speed only slightly from 100 to say 95% for 15 meters and then hit another 15 to 20 meter section concentrating on cadence this time. This type of activity is great for the long jump and triple jump run-ups, for example, when you've really got to attack the board, but from a developmental basis in terms of improving sprint speed, you can see that they also have a great value as well. Now we will do off bend runs and sprint float sprints two to three times a week over a 10, 14 day cycle in peak season. There are other variations of these types of runs which I will go through in future videos. You need to maximize your recovery, optimize your recovery. So only go when you're ready to repeat the runs so that you can do them at maximum velocity and maximum intent. If you feel that you're beginning to slow down, then take a longer recovery or don't do any more runs. Watch the drain on your central nervous system, neural system, as there will come a point when you won't be able to commit fully to the runs and in which case you're not going to derive any specific or increased benefits. There's a lot to improving sprint speed and 
hopefully the drills and runs that I've shown you in this video will help you in the pursuit of greater maximum velocity. If you have any specific questions on the subject matter of this particular video or indeed any of my others then do leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media. And do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be notified of new videos when I upload them. And as usual, good luck with your training and any competitions that you've got coming up. If you're interested in the extremely portable and accurate free lap timing system, then do drop me a message. The system is accurate to two one thousandths of a second and can time end times and split times.